Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Sunday is the perfect day to hear organ music, and we are lucky to have a veritable virtuoso in the studio. David <laughs> Hegarty is the resident organist at the San Francisco's Castro Theater, and he's here to tell us about a very good cause. Welcome to Bay Sunday. Thank you for having me. There's a rich history behind the theater that was built for this organ. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yes, the Castro Theater uh, has had organ music uh, featured all through its history. It was a silent movie house built in uh, 1922 and sort of needed an organ to accompany the silent movies at the time. Uh, but then as all theaters, uh, when, when the talkies came in, the, the organs were less important and they were really relegated to um, pre-film concerts as we do now and Broadway shows and the like. But the Castro has had organs through its whole history. We're going to take a look at some pictures uh, of the organ that you play at the Castro Theater. It's a Wurlitzer, an old organ. Tell us a little bit more about this special uh, instrument. Well, the Wurlitzer, uh, which isn't there now, is part of this story, uh, was, was put in in the early 80s uh, by a private family of organ builders who uh, wanted to house it at the Castro. We've been very fortunate to use it for over 30 years. I've, I've played it uh, all that time. Mm -hmm. But after 30 years of continuous use, it, it needed complete refurbishing. And the owner of it was moving away, and so ultimately he removed the Wurlitzer from the theater. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so in order to keep the uh, music playing, uh, I've put in a, a temporary digital organ that we're using now. And we are creating one of the world's most magnificent organs uh, to replace the Wurlitzer, and, uh, and that's the, the exciting uh, future of the music of the Castro. We have a clip of you playing this, uh, this organ. Let's uh, take a look. So David, which organ are you playing here? Tell us a little bit more. This is an organ in Hurricane West Virginia where I've given six concerts over the past 10 years. And it was built by Alan Hare, the man who has designed the organ that we're putting into the Castro. So this organ that you're hearing uh, is sort of a smaller prototype of what we're doing. And it's the, my experience playing that uh, West Virginia organ is what uh, inspired me to want to put something magnificent like that into the Castro. And is each organ different? Do you get a different feel for it? You're, you're talking about this new hybrid organ that's coming into the Castro Theater versus the old Wurlitzer. Mm -hmm. As soon as you start playing, what are the differences that, you've, that you see? Well, yes, every organ is, is unique and feels different and sounds different. Um, but what we're doing uh, with the new organ is enlarging the theater organ capabilities of it. We're actually simulating the specifications of the great Fox, San Francisco Fox uh, Wurlitzer that was so famous and is gone now. So we're bringing all of the capabilities of that back, uh, but we're turning this into a, a unique uh, uh, listening experience for the audiences because this organ will now play the entire range of classical organ uh, repertoire as well. And uh, so, so we're gonna feature it as a, as a major concert instrument. Mm -hmm. And the way we're able to, to put in such a huge organ is that although we're adding more pipes than the Wurlitzer had, we're uh, supplementing it with many more sets of, rank, of digitally sampled ranks from around the world. David, thank you so much. And it does require a lot of funding for this new organ. If you want to help out the Castro's, the Castro Theater meet its goal to replace its beloved mighty Wurlitzer, you could go to castroorgan.org and make a donation. That is it for this week. Be sure to visit our website, cbssf.com slash Sunday, and our Facebook page, where you could pitch us your ideas and story ideas and give it a like while you're there. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful Sunday.